Overlooking the Allegheny River and the city of Pittsburgh is the north side neighborhood of Troy Hill. Nestled among the streets is one of the most unique and sacred buildings in all of North America, St. Anthony's Chapel. Dedicated in 1883, the chapel is named in honor of St. Anthony of Padua, often referred to as the Wonder Worker, in recognition of the many miracles associated with his ministry. Construction of the chapel began in 1880 under the direction of Father Supert Mollinger, the son of a wealthy Belgian businessman who used his family fortune to acquire thousands of relics of the saints. Since the second century, Catholics have cherished the belongings of these holy men and women. The church teaches that while relics do not have power in and among themselves, God continues to work miracles in the presence of a saint's body even after their death. Because of their important place in Catholic devotion, relics became a target of anti-Catholic persecution in Europe in the 19th century. That prompted Father Mollinger to begin accumulating relics for safekeeping. Since he was also a medical doctor, Father Mollinger kept his collection in his Pittsburgh medical office, where patients would often venerate them. The formal dedication of the chapel took place on June 13, 1883, the Feast of St. Anthony. Thousands of people made their way to be blessed by Father Mollinger, who was being referred to as a priest, physician, and healer by the Pittsburgh newspapers at the time. The pilgrims venerated the relics in the chapel. Many of them proclaimed that they were healed of their infirmities, leaving their crutches and canes behind as a visual testament to their healing. The chapel attracted so many pilgrims that it had to be expanded. It was rededicated in 1892. Sadly, on the day of the rededication, Father Mollinger collapsed and died two days later. Currently, there are more than 5,000 relics of the saints in the chapel. They're displayed in beautiful reliquaries, arranged in altars and side cases constructed of hand-carved solid walnut. Among the collection are three central reminders of the most profound aspects of our faith, Christ's suffering and death on the cross, and his glorious resurrection from the dead. Located in a reliquary on the left side of the chapel are a splinter from the true cross, a thorn from the crown of thorns, and a piece from the stone of the holy sepulcher. Other relics include a nail that held Christ to the cross, pieces of bones from the apostles, and the remains of several saints, including St. Faustina. All of the relics have been documented and verified by the hierarchy of the church. Once they're placed in the reliquary, they're sealed and cannot be moved. This is done in order to prevent theft and forgery. In addition to the relics, Father Mollinger also acquired a set of life-sized Stations of the Cross, which were hand-carved in Germany. These stations are considered to be among the most beautiful in the world, each portraying in graphic detail a portion of the passion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. The chapel also features an exquisite set of stained glass windows, all imported from Europe. The 14 windows above the Station of the Cross portray the Apostles, along with Saints Paul, Stephen, and Lawrence. The center window above the chapel entrance depicts the Blessed Virgin Mary, while to the left and right are windows honoring Saint Anthony and Saint Catherine of Siena. Over the years, the chapel began to fall into a state of disrepair, Eventually, Bishop Vincent Leonard authorized its restoration. A fundraising committee was established in 1972. The repairs were done in three stages and completed in 1977. It was also dedicated as a historical landmark by the Pittsburgh History of Landmarks Foundation. The chapel was reopened on a regular basis in the 1980s and once again began attracting thousands of pilgrims on a regular basis to admire its beauty and to acclaim the lives of the saints whose relics are housed inside. In 2017, the chapel celebrated its 125th anniversary with a mass celebrated by Bishop William Winter. To this day, St. Anthony's Chapel remains a spiritual house of faith, reflection, and prayer that attracts more than 30,000 people a year from all over the world and from all faiths and denominations. It is truly a cornerstone of our Catholic faith. Looking to the future, the staff of the chapel is working to raise the level of service to qualify for national shrine status. We need to provide exemplary liturgy, have more hours of operation, 
and raise the level of the endowment to fund the operating budget of the chapel and to provide for its ongoing maintenance. St. Anthony's Chapel has been a place of pilgrimage for 125 years. It's our hope that we'll be able to provide spiritual nourishment for the people of God for centuries to come.